chicken? Chicken turkey? Aww. Like you should have like a gate that says giraffe. Coloration, you know, and like that. That's kind of like your traditional pomodoro. Right. That you would have here. And, and then... there's two types of black. Because one has boots and the other ones don't. The blacks are, they call them a rustic rambler, but they're basically a heritage breed cross. And then the grayish ones are blue Plymouth rocks. She breeds. It's actually, I mean, we enjoy it. We sit up there, we've got a little area where we process and we can do the whole time. Two cows are they're uh, miniature jerseys. Ah. Rita. The one on the right is the female. She's pregnant. The tan one. Oh, neat. So we're hoping that uh, you have a future generation. Hoping April time frame. So chickens, turkeys, pigs, sheep, sheep cows. cows. No, no goats, though. No goats. No goats. No. And get the stuff from Finca Yeah, this is really <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we've always enjoyed raising chickens in, um, in Greeley in Colorado, and then when we moved here, we also tried turkeys. So there are different animals, but they can get along. These uh, birds all live together in the same coop. Um, sometimes you have to worry about the integration of new members, but uh, the ones that we got from Finca Bruta integrated really well into our existing flock. We had about four or five uh, chickens that still remained from before. And, uh, and then we had, I think we have four, three or four turkeys still. The turkeys continue to um, have more and more babies here. So they've just been replacing themselves. We have some attrition due to uh, loose dogs that sometimes come onto the property. So yeah. when we have an attack or something like that, then we use the coop and we lock them up for a little bit. But uh, otherwise, uh, raising chickens and turkeys has been a really fun part of uh, our experience here in Puerto Rico um, because we get the, the farm fresh <laughs> eggs and uh, they're just fun to have out in the yard. <laughs> All right, well, today I'm gonna make an egg, but this isn't just a regular egg, this is a turkey egg. So one of the reasons that we uh, got some yeah. new chickens, look at that egg, Aiden, was because our old chickens aren't laying as much. But turkeys also lay eggs. So when we don't have chicken eggs, oftentimes we'll have turkey eggs. Turkey eggs are just taste just about the same as a chicken egg. The only real difference is they're humongous. So this would be like jumbo jumbo uh, chicken egg. And they're a little harder to crack. So, um, you know, the shell's just a little bit harder to get through. As you can see, it's like... But the yolks are huge. And basically one egg can... Uh, could serve for two two people for like a medium egg. So a lot of times Britain and I can just share an egg or even Aiden. So that's a breakfast. So another thing that we have just right here um, on our porch is some greens. So this, these are um, mustard, spicy mustard and arugula, as well as a little bit of basil. Um, we started to do a, a front porch garden 
because after the hurricane there wasn't any uh, fresh food for a long time and we got so hungry for it but we couldn't have a garden out in the field very easily because the iguanas eat it so our solution was to just have a little um, garden out here on the on the front porch it makes it real easy to grab a few a few leaves and uh, we just do the, the pick pick and come again kind of stuff so that it'll just keep growing and then once it uh, it flowers and we just clean it out and put in some more. So real cheap, easy, fresh as, as you can get to lettuces and greens. So sometimes uh, when the turkeys don't lay their eggs or the chickens in the coop, we'll just let the eggs stay out in the jungle because there's a big chance that they might give babies. So here's an example of a nest that a turkey is just now starting. Um, once she gets maybe uh, I don't know, 10 or 15 in there. She'll probably try to sit on the nest and uh, and then hatch out her own uh, clutch of uh, new papitos, little baby turkeys.